a nice cup of coffee. Let's just ease into the morning and watch some so videos. I'm going to challenge Brew United. I'd like to see what he comes up with. And for my third challenge... Challenge accepted, Generation Pixel. And I'm going to go with my full name, Andrew, rather than Andy. So we're going to spell that out in this video. Hope you enjoy. So my first video is going to be for A, for Alex Kidd. 1986 Sega Master System. Fantastic game for my youth. One of my favorites, in fact. And look at the graphics on this. This went head to head with Mario. Really hard to believe that anyone could compare this to Mario. The graphics are so much better. And the hardware was actually better too. All right, now on to the letter N. I pick 1989's Ninja Gaiden. What a game. In fact, it was fantastic in the arcade. The Nintendo port, not as amazing, but still, one of the few games where you can actually jump climb between different things, the sword, the upgrades, and the anime cutscenes, you know? Kind of had it all back in the day. And for such a simple system, it was a fantastic game for my youth. Alright, with letter D, we're going to go with Dragon Quest. Can't really get more of an iconic game, which was Dragon Warrior in the US, but this was the Famicom version uh, from 1986, because I'm lazy. And honestly, I was going to put in Dragon Warrior, but I already had the test going on for this game and some of the translations. So this game is a little bit different, the character looks different, and the gameplay is roughly the same. You know, it's the first RPG that I actually started fighting slimes in that I can remember, maybe other than Fantasy Star. So, definitely for D, I'm gonna pick Dragon Quest. And for the letter R, let's go for 1988's Rambo 3 on the Sega Genesis. What a classic action star Rambo is. You know, other than Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone really carried the day. So this game is really just an action game. You know, you run around, do ridiculous guns, you have the arrow thing that you can power up and fire, you have bombs, I mean, you can knife people. Tons of fun, just an action-packed game. So if you haven't played 1988's Rambo 3, and if you haven't seen the movie, maybe you should go back and see that too. But what a fun game to play. So I will leave you with just a ridiculous amount of gunfire. And uh, we'll actually then charge up the wonderful bow and arrow with the explosive tip. And I'm going to miss the shot, but we'll make the second one. And then we'll end Rambo 3 on a big explosion. So E for me, although not a retro game, is Europa Universalis 4. It's a game that I've sunk, I don't even know how many hours into, grand strategy. And if you're into any type of grand strategy game, I highly recommend it. You can get lost in it, you can be any country, and you can even mod it to go back to, you know, 200 BC and play from there all the way through modern era and beyond. So if you haven't played it, you should check it out. And for W, I'm going to go with 1987's Wonder Boy. He looks like a nudist colony reject, rides a skateboard, and throws a tomahawk from uh, the Stone Age. So this is one of those games that I got right after Alex Kidd. And it was just a fun side-scrolling, you know, throw an axe, jump over something. Really simple. You know, you can see by the gameplay. Nothing elaborate. Nice colorful graphics, which I think the Sega Master System had 
over many different consoles at the time. And the motion, as you can see, I mean, this is running extremely smoothly and no problems whatsoever. So Wonder Boy wraps up my name. And thank you, Generation Pixel, for recommending for this. This was actually a lot of fun, and it was a nice challenge for the morning. So this video was about games that could spell my name, not necessarily the best games, because some of the best games do not contain, surprisingly, my initials. But we'll go for that. So I'm going to challenge two other people who have been briefly called out. And in fact, Generation Pixel has called out basically everyone that watched his video. So I will do the same. Anyone watching this video, you should do your own if you're a creator on YouTube. And if not, you should do one anyway. Just have a laugh. So I'm going to call out Backpack Comics and also Plupachu. Come on, guys. Hop in the middle of this. Spell out your name with video games. See you next time. You're still here? Like and subscribe. Go watch another video.